Hello, my name is Maria de Souza. I am the founder of Posture Queen, and this is a place for you to come and learn all things good posture and movement for a life without pain. Today I'm coming to you with the first lesson of the Feldenkrais Heels One Lesson at a Time series. Before you start these lessons, please make sure that you watch the introductory video that is under this playlist called Feldenkrais Heels. Once you have watched that, then you are good to go. Today the lesson is all about bringing mobility and flexibility to the pelvis, the upper body, to allow for better rotation and turn. It will bring you a lot of more benefits and if you notice those, please come back and let us know what this um, lesson has done for you. So, we start by standing. And in standing, I want you to bring your awareness to your feet. So it's best that you have no socks on, on so that you can feel the soles of your feet grounded. And once you're here, just notice where the weight of your body is on your feet. Is it more towards the back of the feet on your heels or towards the front or towards the sides? Just notice. Or is it more in one foot than the other? I'm going to give you a moment of quietness for you to sense that for yourself. And don't try to fix anything, just sense what's there for you. And can you feel the, um, every single toe in contact with the floor or there are toes that you can't feel touching the floor? And then have a sense for your uprightness. How do you feel standing? How does your upper body feels and then have a sense for your uprightness how does it feel for you have a sense for your head sitting on top of your spine notice if is if your head feels heavy or not And then from here you're going to very slowly, as slowly as you can make it, because the slower you go, the more you can feel. Turn your head, only the head to one side. If you close your eyes, you probably feel a little bit more. And just notice how that turning of the head feels for you. Is it easy? Is it smooth? Or is it sticky? And notice how far can you go without forcing anything. And then go to the other side and compare both sides. How does one side differs from the other? Does one side feels easier? Maybe one side goes the turn is easier and goes farther away. Just notice the differences. And again, without forcing anything, only going to that point that feels easy for you. And then turn the whole torso and look behind you and see how far can you go again easily. And how that torso, that rotation of the torso feels for you. Is it sticky, smooth? And do it a couple of times to one side. And then do it to the other side. See um, how much you can rotate. Good. And then just keep um, a few mental notes of these things that you have noticed for yourself. So that at the end we'll come back and see if anything feels different for you. 
and from here we're going to lie on the floor so come to lie on the floor and as you arrive on the floor just the first thing notice where your head is notice if your head is comfortable if your chin is far away from your chest and this feels very uncomfortable then remember to have a folded blanket to bring under your head so that your head is nicely aligned with the spine but if you feel that you don't need anything like I don't so um, just don't have anything under your head and here you're going to take some time to arrive to arrive to your mat and to this moment and start noticing how you feel in this position is it comfortable for you and if it isn't comfortable to lie on the floor notice where the discomfort is just tune into that discomfort and I promise you that we're not going to be here for too long and now just sense just notice that the relationship between yourself and the floor notice how much of yourself is touching the floor start from the heels and feel the heels the parts of the heels that touch the floor and then your calves calves and the back of your thighs and can you sense that there is a space behind your knees is there a gap Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Then sense your buttocks, the pelvis. And notice if one side of the pelvis feels different to the other. In other words, does one buttocks feels more in contact with the floor than the other? Or does one side feels heavier than the other? Then come up and have a sense for your back resting on your mat. How much of your back is touching the mat? And how much it isn't like that gap in your lower back, if there is a gap. Do you have a space in your lower back that doesn't touch the floor? Just sense if that is there and if it is, how big or small that space feels for you. And can you feel your shoulder blades? And if you can't, don't worry about it. If you can, does the contact of one shoulder blade on the floor is the same to the other, or do they feel different? Does one shoulder blade feel heavier or more fl flatter than the other? And then come up to your head and sense the back of the head in contact with the floor. And how do you sense your head? Is it right in the middle or do you sense that the head is more tilted to one side than the other? Just notice. Then have a sense for your breath and the way you're breathing and the movements of the breath. Do you feel that there is more movement, more movement in your belly than in your chest? How does your breathing feel? Does it feel easy and relaxed or is it headache and shallow? And keep a few mental notes 
of all these things that you have found out so that at the end you can come back and see if anything feels different for you. And from here you're going to bring your feet on the floor and you do that one leg at a time. So you bend the leg to the side and slide the heel or the foot towards your buttocks and then when it doesn't go anymore you bring the knee up and then do the same with the other leg, bend the knee and slide the foot up and then bring the knee up. And just feel your feet on the floor. And from here you're going to bring the right leg over the left leg, so you cross your legs and bring the foot on the floor more towards the midline to a place where you feel that your legs are supported. And from here you're going to tilt your legs to your right hand side only going as far as it is comfortable, very slowly and very gently. And then coming back to the middle where you started and do that a few times and notice the top of the leg weighting down the bottom leg. You don't need to come to the floor or anything close to that. Just go as far as it is comfortable. And you can do that with the breath, inhaling in the center and exhale, tilt and tilt and tilt, slowly and gently, just like a lift going down, slowly and gently. And just coming back and just sense how that feels for you. Notice how far your legs can go easily. Notice where you feel some resistance or maybe some tension. Have particularly, particularly attention to your left hand side, those muscles around your pelvis and the ribs, just notice how that feels. Inhale into the middle, exhale, tilt and tilt and tilt, only going as far as it is comfortable. Notice what your head is doing. Allow the head to do whatever it wants to do. Notice how much movement you feel in your ribs, in your chest. Just notice what's happening now. Is your head moving at all? Where do you find the tension? And we're going to do this a few more times. Inhale into the center. Exhale and tilt and tilt and tilt and tilt as far as it is comfortable. And one more time. And next time you bring the knees to the middle and cross your legs and bring the foot on the floor. Adjust your feet. Keep your feet and your knees separated, hip distance apart at least, in the place that is comfortable for you. And just notice yourself for a moment here. Can you feel the difference between the right and the left pelvis? And then cross the other way, the left leg over the right, bring the foot in the, in the, on the floor more towards the midline so that you feel that your legs are supported. And from here you're going to do the same, you're going to tilt to the other side. 
the left hand side again with the breath inhale into the center to the middle exhale tilt and tilt and tilt and go through those explorations that you did on the other side how far can you go easily notice those muscles on the right hand side around your pelvis your ribs notice where you feel the tension notice where you feel the resistance and can you feel that there is a difference going to this side? Is it easier? Or is it more difficult? Is the movement smoother or stickier? Inhale into the middle. Exhale, tilt and tilt and tilt and tilt. Notice Again, how much movement you feel in your torso, in your ribs, in your head. And carry on with this a few more times in your own pace. Stay tuned to yourself, feeling and sensing. Okay, and next time you come to the middle, release the crossing and from here extend the legs, bring one knee towards the floor one at a time and lengthen one leg and then the other. So I've got a video on how to bring the feet on the floor and the knees up. It's important that you do it this way to prevent strain and tension to your lower back. So that video is under this series of the Feldenkrais heels when lessened at a time. So make sure you have a look at that video. And just, just have a little rest here. Just feel your pelvis on the floor, your back. And then bring your feet on the floor, knees up once again. And find a place for your feet, so your feet and knees are at least hip distance apart. But you might need a little bit more. So find a place for your feet where you can feel that your legs are supported and you're doing the less um, possible effort to have the knees up. So play with your feet back and forth and see where's the best place for you to feel that your legs are supported. And from here you're going to bring your arms up and bring your hands together so your arms are vertically and hands are more or less above your chest. So you want to have the hands and the um, wrists aligned with the shoulders. So you don't want to have your arms back or two forwards, but directly above um, your shoulders. And from here, you're going to roll the torso, inhale in the center, and then you roll the torso and the head to the right and then coming back to the center and then to the right and carry on with this movement rolling the torso only to the right so your pelvis and your knees are quiet 
is only the torso rolling. And notice what's happened with your right hands and right arm. If the right hand is sliding, so that means that you're probably going too far and if your elbow, right elbow is bending, that also means, means that you're going too far. So see what you can do to keep your hands glued and your right arm straight so that the elbow doesn't need to bend. We don't need to go too far and you can't go too far because your pelvis and your legs being still are restricting this movement. And notice how easy or not so this movement feels for you, rotating the torso to the right hand side. Again, do this with the breath, inhale in the center, exhale, tilt or rotate, rotate. Keep your hands together, your pelvis and knees are quiet, only the torso rolling to the right hand side and back to the middle. Okay, and next time you come to the middle, release your arms down and rest for a moment. Notice your shoulder blades and your back on the ground. Notice the differences between the right and the left sides. Can you feel more of your right shoulder than the left? Okay, and then you're going to bring your arms up in the same organization as before. And this time you're going to roll to your left. Inhale in the center, exhale, roll and roll and roll. Notice if this rolling to this side feels different to the other, maybe it feels easier or not so. Again, remember to keep the hands attached and the left elbow straight. The pelvis and the knees are quiet, only the torso rolling to the left hand side. And notice how your feet is also helping you with this movement. Can you feel that feet presses gently on the floor? Notice how far you can go easily. Remembering that your pelvis, because it's still and the legs are still, this movement is being restricted. So there's it's not a lot of rotation you can do here. Only do what feels easy and comfortable. No forcing. Pay attention to what your breath is doing. Make sure you're breathing, not holding the breath. Inhale into the middle. Exhale, roll to the left. Okay, one more time. And next time you come to the center, release your arms and lengthen your legs. One leg at a time, and just coming back to this restful position. Oh, for a little rest. So just sense yourself on the floor, sense your shoulder blades, your back, your pelvis, your head. Your breath. So now bring your feet on the floor, knees up once again. And this time you're going to cross your legs, so cross the right leg over the left to bring the foot on the floor more towards the midline. 
so that you feel that your legs are supported and bring your arms up. And this time what you're going to do is to take the torso to the left hand side, only the torso, keep the legs and the pelvis quiet and come back to the center, inhale in the center, exhale to the left and do that a few times. You just notice how that movement feels to you. Remember to keep the hands together and the left elbow straight. And remember that there's not a lot of rotation you can do here because your pelvis is restricting you by keeping staying still as still as you can. And just notice how that movement feels for you. And inhale into the middle, exhaling to the side. to the center, just relax your arms down and stay with the legs crossed here for a moment, just rest. And then bring your arms up once again. And this time you're going to take the, tilt the legs at the same time as you rotate your torso. So the legs go to the right and the torso goes to the left. And coming back to the center, inhaling to the center, exhale, legs go to the right and torso goes to the left. Only going as far as it is comfortable and notice if your legs go much farther to the side than your torso and if that is the case, see if you can bring a balance so that the legs don't go much more to the side than the torso can go. So it's very likely that the legs are able to move towards the floor a lot more than the torso is able to rotate to the side. But you don't want to have that too much of a difference. So only move the legs as far as the torso can go. Inhale into the middle, exhale to the sides. Notice this rotation that is happening in your spine. Don't force anything, only go as far as it is comfortable and easy. Increasing or improving mobility and flexibility doesn't come from forcing, but from allowing it to happen, happening gradually without bringing strain to the body. Notice your right shoulder blade moving away from the floor as your torso moves to the side and the left side of your pelvis lifting as you tilt the legs to the right. Allow the head to go with the torso.
the next lesson I'll bring will be with these same kind of movements, but with different um, differentiations where we move the head to the opposite side of the torso and the eyes and a lot of more variations we can do with this lesson. And next time you come to the middle, just release your arms down and cross your legs. And stay here with the legs on the floor. Just feel yourself on the ground. Notice your pelvis, your shoulder blades. Your breath. And then cross the other way around. So the left over the right. Bring the foot on the, foot, on the floor in the middle and bring your arms up and this time just roll the torso to the right hand side and coming back to the center keep the legs and pelvis as quiet as possible with the breath inhale into the middle and exhale roll the torso and this is how that feels is it dif different to going to the other side as they show the left shoulder lifts more away from the floor or, away or less than the right one if you can remember if you don't remember don't worry too much about it but if there is a big difference between rolling to the right and the left you will notice Go. So I was kind. Of, I've noticed that I was kind of restricting my head from moving with the torso. So notice if that is happening with you as well. So allow the head to go with the torso. That makes the movement easier for 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 you, for us. Is it, isn't that amazing that we make our lives difficult more than we really need? And once we pay attention then we can start uh, making our life a little bit easier. So I was restricting my movement by keeping the head in the middle, whereas I don't really need to do that. I can allow my head to move with the torso and that makes this movement a little bit more easier for me. Now I wonder how many other times am I making my life difficult by not paying attention to the way I am moving or the way I am behaving okay and then release your arms and keep your legs crossed just release your arms for a little rest you know you know what's coming just sense your shoulder blades on the floor Good. and then lift your arms again and now just like we did on the other side the legs go to this time the legs go to the left and the torso goes to the right so inhale in the middle and exhale legs go to the left and torso goes to the right and with a few more times just notice how this movement feels on this side notice your hand stays attached to the other hand it doesn't slide and the right elbow doesn't bend and again notice if your legs are able to go more towards the floor or to the side much more than the torso can go and if that is the case just find a place find a way so that the legs don't move much more than the torso can move to the sides And again, notice the rotation that is happening in the spine. Where do you feel it?
Notice if each time you move, you can move a little bit more without forcing, of course, anything, just allowing the movement to happen. And I notice that the slower I go, the more the movement is easier for me and I can go a little bit farther away with the torso and the legs. Next time you come to the center, just release your arms, release your legs and lengthen your legs. So just coming down for a rest and just stay here for a moment. Just sense yourself on the floor. Notice your pelvis, your buttocks, the back, the shoulder blades. And now very slowly, very Gently just ro roll the head to one side a couple of times. Just notice how does it feel compared to the very first time you roll the head today at the beginning of this lesson. And then to the other side. Just bring the head to the middle and stay here in this restful position just for a little bit more, for one more moment. Okay, once again bring your feet on the floor. And this time we're going to check in and see how things um, feel now. So cross your right leg over your left, bring the foot on the floor more towards the middle. And slowly just, just do this movement that you did before, bringing the legs to the right and back to the center. Just notice how that feels for you. Is it easier to do? Bring your awareness to those muscles around your left ribs and the pelvis. Do they feel happier to let go? Notice what your head is doing. Do you feel that there's more of yourself involved in this movement? Do your legs go farther away? Okay, and then cross the legs and cross the other way. And again, tilt to the left hand side and just notice how that movement feels for you. Is it easier? Notice that right hand side, the muscle around your ribs and the pelvis. Notice what your head is doing. Okay, and then and cross your legs. Keep the feet on the floor and bring your arms up. And turn, keep your pelvis and knees quiet. And turn your torso once to the right. Notice how that feels. And once to the left. How does it feel now? Is it easy to do this movement? Is it easier to rotate? Do you go a little bit farther away than you did before? And 
Okay, and then bring your arms down and lengthen your legs and just notice yourself. Lie on the floor. So this is the end of the lesson and I want you to bring back those mental notes that you made at the very beginning when you lied on the floor for the first time this, um, um, during this lesson and see if you can feel that the contact of the floor on the floor feels different. And do you remember whether it was comfortable or not for you to lie on the floor before? And if it wasn't so comfortable, how does it feel now? And how much of yourself is touching the floor? Do you feel flatter? Does the contact with the floor feel different? Bring your awareness special to those parts, you know, pelvis, the buttocks, the back, the shoulder blades, the head. Can you sense your shoulder blades a little bit better now in contact with the floor? How does your breathing feel? And then from here, very slowly and very gently, taking your time, you're going to come into um, standing so that we go through those points that you did before. And when you find yourself standing, stay there for a moment, feel your feet on the floor. And now bring back those mental memories that you made at the very beginning when you stood for the first time. And notice if anything feels different for you. So notice where the weight of your body is on your feet. Is it in the same places or has it changed? And have a sense for your uprightness. How does it feel now? And then very slowly turn your head to one side. Notice if that feels different. And then to the other side. And then the whole of the tour, so how does it feel now? Turn it to one side and then turn it to the other side. Good, and then go for a little walk around and just notice how that feels walking around. Right, and this is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much for doing the lesson. Let me know how you get on with it. How did you get on with it? And if you have any questions, pop them below and I'll try to answer them. And I'll see you at the next lesson. Thank you. Bye bye now.